Hey friends, Swan Donovan here. Just going over my new valve setup. I uh, had to do a couple modifications to the gun in order to make this setup work, and I will go over those right now. First thing is that um, the brass T here was flipped. In fact, I got a whole new T for it because some of the fittings I had in it were really tight. Uh, but if you remember before, it looked like this. The tank was connected here. This part went to the QEV, then this angled piece was connected to the fill valve. Um, obviously that would interfere with this valve setup back here, which I will go into details on in just a minute. Uh, so all I did was I put a new fitting on there, and it's a little bit more compact now, and it opens up the space behind the QEV. Um, so now I'll get on to the real good changes here. This black valve here is a 1 8 inch NPT three-way normally closed valve. How this works is there are three ports on it. There's one here, there's one here, and there's one back here. Um, as I said it's a three-way normally closed valve so this valve here, this opening here is normally closed. So how this works is when you push this lever in it opens up this valve it opens up a pathway from this valve into the opening here and then when you release this lever then it closes this opening and opens up this opening from here down to here um, so right now these two are open and this one is closed so anyway, uh, if this valve, if this uh, opening back here was just left open, it would just be a single shot gun. Uh, you would push the, push the valve and it would just dump all the air out straight into here. Um, this part back here I made, and I'll probably go into more detail, uh, like a little exploded view of it I guess in a later video, um, but what this is is it's a eighth inch NPT male fitting so it threads into here into the black valve uh, and what it is is it's hollow inside this tube and then it has a piston with two o-rings on it I machined all this and that piston is free to move within this valve body and that piston is adjusted with this screw so if you turn this in obviously it pushes the piston further down. Um, the purpose behind that is assuming I can, well I'll go and test this soon. Um, weather's been really crappy but I'll get into that in a minute. Um, what this does is it gives you, it should in my mind, it'll give you um, variable shot output, um, variable shot power I should say. Uh, the larger the chamber volume the greater the shot output should be and obviously the inverse of that the smaller the chamber volume the further the piston is pushed in the lesser powerful the shot will be um, so yeah and in fact this gun is pressurized right now it's at probably I think it's probably at about 3 or 350 PSI um, I've had it just sitting here pressurized for the past hour or two um, just checking for leaks and stuff so I am indoors because it is really crappy outside um, it's I think tomorrow the high of 20 and a low of 7 uh, we just got 5 inches of snow just last week it was in the 60's so <laughs> that's kinda of weather in the Midwest for you um, but anyway I will give you a brief demo of this it's really late at night here too um, and I probably shouldn't be firing this indoors but uh, there's nothing loaded into it it's just has air in it so I will give you a brief demo of this thing firing real quick um, and then hopefully this Sunday it's supposed to be in the high 50s and if it is then I will do an actual uh, video of it firing uh, with a projectile and we'll do some damage and stuff like that but anyway let me wrap this up I'll do a couple shots here you'll see how uh, quickly it'll fire and uh, that'll be it so yeah like I said it's probably gonna be really loud but all you gotta do is just press this in
There you have it. Um, so yeah, what happens is, like I said, it dumps into this, uh, when you pull it, it dumps into this chamber here, and it stays in that chamber until you release it, and then the air from the chamber uh, comes out of this uh, port down here. So yeah. There you guys go. Um, like I said, I will try and get into a little more of how I made this valve. And uh, then hopefully if it's warm on Sunday, I will get another video of this thing um, actually firing. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Alright, take care.